uh, the video that we are doing right now is going to um, discuss the installation of the Fulter FR771 pantry rollout slide. This is this is what you get when you buy the uh, FR771, what you see right here. Uh, so you would build a pantry pullout unit that uh, this is attached to. And when you build the unit, um, you can build it uh, up to 78 inches high and uh, 19 inches wide. So 19 inches this way, 78 inches this way, uh, that's what it's rated for. And um, um, you also have to make the allowances to fit inside of your cabinet. So let's just take a quick look at what is all included in this uh, slide. Uh, here is your base unit. This is the this is the rollout slide. It's got a clip up here that uh, for shipping you have to pop that out to make to operate this. So your bottom uh, track and carriage here along with your soft close device comes assembled. And um, and then this is the um, the bottom guide. So this this piece is attached to the bottom of the pantry pullout that you built. And that sits on here. This is the upper guide, uh, and this is the, the plastic end, just the front of that, or I like to call it upper stabilizer. Uh, you put this ball bearing slide at the top of your cabinet, and then uh, this goes here like this. It prevents your uh, the top of your pantry pullout from uh, going to side to side. Uh, upper stabilizer. And the upper stabilizer has a damper that is installed inside of it. Uh, to give it a nicer close feel. Uh, two additional things that I want to mention about this uh, pantry pullout, the FR771. Uh, there is only one length available in this slide. Uh, it's, uh, they call it a 22 inch, but in reality uh, what you need to know is it's longer than 22 inches. Uh, the slide uh, requires um, um, 22 and 5 eighths inches. Uh, so uh, be, be sure, just be aware, uh, 22 and 5 eighths inches uh, this way, 575 millimeters. Um, that's one thing. <laughs> and I forgot what the other thing was. <clears throat> and now, um, now we have the carriage fully extended, or not fully extended, but extended enough so we can see what's going on. Again, the upper guide with the slotted holes. Now, the slotted holes in the upper guide, uh, these pins that you can see right here, uh, I hope you can see them. I'm turning this one through so you can see. That pin will go into the slotted hole. And when you screw these pins in from both sides, that secures the upper guide so it, it can't, uh, your pantry pull, uh, pull out unit can't accidentally get jerked out of the cabinet. I think that's a really nice feature on this slide uh, to lock your, your cabinet in. And now I'm going to push this thing closed and uh, watch that happen. Now here's another thing uh, that I think is fairly important. Uh, you've got this uh, to lock your, your runner in place here and here. Um, also if we look at the bottom of this runner there you can see in this location uh, this is a screw hole adjustment for up and down but I don't want to turn that because it's preset to make it easy to install the pantry rollout then once the pantry rollout is installed then adjustments can be made to the up and down so there are the features of the pantry rollout let me just bring the the soft close feature into play here um, this is um, on this unit has a nice soft close feature. It takes a little energy to pull that thing through. And your top, top back. And there's, there's that piece. Well, now we're going to install this unit in my pantry pullout right there. I already built the pantry pullout. It's sitting in the garage. It's cut to all the proper specifications. The opening that I have is 1,063 millimeters high 
and I have to allow for this upper guide which is, uh, and track which is 59 millimeters and the bottom uh, this unit here is 80 millimeters so then I have got 139 millimeters that I had to subtract from my opening uh, to create the uh, the pantry pullout that I built and uh, it's 924 millimeters on the nose the pantry pullout unit that we're going to install. Here is our empty cabinet that we're going to install the pantry rollout and I've got some markings inside the cabinet uh, for helping me make an inst easy installation. There is a required hole drilling that I've made here at 37 millimeter a screw hole set back here and a 37 millimeter screw hole set back here uh, in order to make installation easier. Let me show you that up close. What you're looking at here is the base of, of the pantry that we're going to install this rollout. And here is the, uh, from the front edge of the face frame here to the center of this screw hole is 37 millimeters. That's a screw hole setback requirement. That screw hole takes advantage of this hole in the pantry rollout slide. So uh, to get everything lined up, we're going to flip this slide over and put the, the screw into that hole. And for my purposes, I'm going to pull the carriage out and make it easy to access that hole and put in the pan head screw. This thing really, <laughs> this thing really glides nicely. Now we have the front of the slide in. And we have the necessary two millimeter setback. So now we're going to put the rest of the screws in the back of the slide. Here again at the top of the pantry, we need a 37 millimeter screw hole setback. That's from the front of the face frame to the center of that screw hole. By using that uh, screw hole in conjunction with the first hole in the ball bearing slide, um, then we'll achieve a 10 millimeter setback, which is required for the installation of the pantry pullout using the FR771. So let's stick the, uh, uh, the ball bearing slide uh, on the uh, upper portion of the cabinet. This is the ball bearing uh, slide that goes up here and we're going to put the screw hole in the... We're going to mount the screw in the first hole on this runner. So we'll get lined up and find that 37 millimeter setback. And there we have achieved the 10 millimeter setback that we need right here. Next thing we're going to do here is install the uh, front uh, lateral stabilizer. Uh, this device here is an adjustable uh, uh, device uh, dependent on how much load you have on your uh, pantry pullout. And so you can adjust it for heavier or lighter loads. And this plastic piece is the front of the, um, the lateral stabilizer. This keeps the top of the cabinet from doing this. Also prevents the top of the cabinet <laughs> from doing that. So it's, it's fairly important. And um, it also requires the installation of this damper, which you see here. And uh, there are some slotted holes in the side of this uh, stabilizer for the top. And and then there's a trigger right here. You can see how that, that operates. It'll drop into here and go into those slotted holes. Okay, so down here and there they are. This uh, damper is installed. And now we're ready to um, attach this to the cabinet. Uh, no setback from the front. That's the uh, that's the instructions that comes with the product.
Now we're going to install the bottom guide uh, on this uh, pullout. <laughs> this is the front. This little bar tells you it's the front. This bar locks into the carriage on the bottom drawer runner. So putting a screw in here. Now the bottom guide is in. Next, the really hard part. I gotta lift this monster up on top of this. We'll just see. I'll give it a try. Okay, so uh, we're, we're gonna install this pantry pullout. Give me a break. That's yellow tape. Uh, my problem is this slide keeps wanting to go closed. And so I have to have some way of keeping it open until I can uh, get this puppy on there. So here we go. Uh, tap number two. I know you didn't get to see all that, <laughs> uh, but I did get it in. Now we're going to uh, lock this thing in place by turning the set screws down here until those pins go in into the um, bottom guide. This thing is locked in place, not going anywhere. I'm, now I don't have to be afraid uh, to pull it out. I can't get hold of it. I don't have a handle on it. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Woo, that is pretty slick. Let's get a good look at this thing functioning. Nice soft close, nice quiet movement, easy to install, <laughs> that's, what you, that's what I like to say. And now I'm taking this door and putting it on this cabinet and that's going to be my installed pantry roll-out. Well, my wife wants me to put some shelves in it so she can put <laughs> uh, other stuff in there. Well, I got all dressed up today for uh, the grand opening of Diane's brand spanking new pantry pullout with the Fulterer uh, pantry pullout slide to FR771. Uh, so uh, here she is. Take a good look. <laughs> I like this pullout. I got some nice shelves here. It runs real smooth. Uh, I said I was going to give her a, a pullout here, but she opted against that. So we. We stuck with what we got. She likes this. Uh, nice soft clothes. Look at this. There you are. Well, if you like this video, the thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and buy you a couple of these and stick them in your house.